Hi guys, welcome to this quick video about how to override some of the settings with the Evercross HP16. Unfortunately, my scooter here is broken. It has a problem with the electronics, but I can still show you the settings. I mean, we get all the settings, the parameter here in this brochure. Uh, I hope you can see that it's a little bit dark. I had to make it dark because the illumination of my display is very bad. But you can see all the settings here. And just a couple of them are really important, like to override the maximum speed or to activate the zero start. So you don't need to push manually. So you can use right away the acceleration. And then, of course, what you could do uh, is to deactivate the brake, but you have to be careful. There's no electronic brake anymore. And then to reset the data that's here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So here we are on the normal display. We have to push these two buttons here on the left side for a little bit. And then it goes into the setting mode. And then we are on the zero. So you can see that's the zero. That's the thing here, which is equivalent to this number. And then we can go down. And, and then every time we push here at this button, it will go to the next section. Like you see here, here we are on number one. We push again. Then we are on number two, where we can set the maximum speed. That's the thing which most of the people probably want to uh, change. And then we can use the button buttons here, the two on the right side, the left one to decrease the speed, you can even push long, then you could decrease the speed, I mean to basically zero or increase to I think the maximum is 60 and then you can go either to the next setting with a short push and then change the values here as well. Uh, or you can go back to the main menu and store everything and you have to push here for long and then it will set it or like store it. You can see now we are back, we can check the values again. Let's go to the same thing. Number two is maximum speed. You can see it's on 60. Let's change it again. Now you can see I adjust it to 40. I'll push long. Now it's stored, we can invoke it again. Let's go to number two and we can see it's number 40. So this is how it works. And if you have done some crazy stuff and you don't remember maybe what you have done and you're not sure and you just want to go back without storing anything, you can use the button here on the left side like this and it won't store anything and you can go back to the settings and start again changing the values. So these are the two things, but you have to be careful a little bit with just playing around a little bit. I wouldn't suggest to do anything apart from using these numbers here again. Hope you can see, I hope it's focusing nicely. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't change anything apart from that or nothing which you don't know because last time I have even deactivated the display here. So everything was just black, no matter what I did. And it was almost impossible to change that. Of course, since I know how it works, you can long press and then go through all the settings and then change everything uh, until you see the display again. So this is how I got the display back. So again, start with a long push till you see the settings, then go through all the menus here with the second one, change all the values here with the two uh, ones on the right side, left is down, right is up, and storing here is long press with the second one, and go back without storing is one short press here on the left side. That's it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or other opinions, or if you have found something else, just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.